why in the new release of MeshLab there has been a total rewriting of the rendering system so that now it uh, almost uh, totally uses the graphics card for loading and handling 3D data so the amount of data that you can load and process really depends on your uh, uh, resources related to the graphics card uh, there is one issue related to the use of laptops because laptops have uh, usually both an integrated graphics card and if you really want to use MeshLab on your laptop you will need a dedicated graphics card and uh, sometimes MeshLab is started uh, using only the internal graphics card and non, not the dedicated one so one thing to check it and it's uh, the most important thing otherwise your uh, uh, performances may be quite poor is to just to check on the bottom right part when uh, you uh, of the interface when you open MeshLab so if you see something like this uh, it's because you are using your internal graphics card so you may be able to load the model and uh, do all the stuff that you want but as soon as you will have to deal with more complex geometries uh, your uh, laptop will uh, switch from the uh, buffer object rendering to the uh, usual rendering that is much more slow just like uh, in the previous version of MeshLab so how can you fix this? well essentially if you go on the icon of MeshLab on your desktop and you right click the second one, I don't know why it's in Italian, it's the only thing in Italian on the, my whole laptop but here is uh, execute with the uh, uh, graphics uh, uh, card and here you will have both the possibilities so my NVIDIA card or the integrated graphics so for example if I choose to launch the uh, MeshLab with my NVIDIA card there is a change that is kind of clear here on the bottom right part now you have this uh, reference that tells you how much of the uh, graphics memory you are using uh, while you are opening your 3D model so if you have something like this you are using your uh, dedicated graphics card otherwise you will use your internal one so ca how can you change that? I will show you only with the example of the NVIDIA graphics card but the, um, the operation should be similar also with other graphics card so essentially here you can you have to if you want to be sure that uh, MeshLab is launched using your graphics card every time you need to change the default uh, graphics card associated to the program so if you go in the NVIDIA control panel you can choose the program settings and you will have to choose for example MeshLab so MeshLab if MeshLab is not in the list you have to search for that in the context of your computer and then you have to choose the high performance NVIDIA processor in my case for example I decided to set a global setting that says that every program that is uh, installed in my computer is associated to the NVIDIA but it's not like this and maybe you're not used to it and you don't want that but anyway if you choose this one high performance NVIDIA processor and you click apply so from now on every time that you will use MeshLab it will be loaded using your graphics card this is important if you really want to handle more complex projects so if you see some uh, kind of poor perfor performance on your laptop this may be the main reason thank you mm -hmm.